The Sandy 60 has been pulled apart, the rust has been chopped out and restored by on-track fabrication. Now it's been moved down to distorted paint and restoration on the back of a forklift and Jaden and Cheese are having a bit of a walk around to see what work is ahead of them. Someone's done a little, little spot repair. This badge is not even holding on, that's just going to fall off. These are lovely old school G badges here, haven't seen one of those for a long time. So this here, Cheese, what do you reckon we'll get rid of this? I reckon we'll go for a digital one on the windscreen. The 79 series scoop uh, welded and fabbed onto this bonnet, uh, which will increase airflow, let some of the heat out, and also give it a tough look. Yeah, it should be uh, pretty killer when it's done, eh? Yeah, overall not a bad car. Yeah, lines are straight, gaps are good. It's pretty good that we don't have to do any rush repair because they're already done. Yeah, thank you on track. Thanks yeah. on, yeah, OTFO. Eh? We're not going to go full on with this one. All we're going to do, quick tidy up and we'll um, get started on it and get, get this thing done in the next couple of days. So now the paint's all finished and Jaden, it looks bloody amazing. Yeah, well, we went over, did it all, got it all looking pretty much brand new now. So hopefully the boys don't scratch it too much when they take it out. This is my second Pride and Joy now, I think. Yeah, I reckon <laughs> so. I, I've got to admit, when we were out at Kalgoorlie, when we were first looking at the vehicle, it actually looked all right. Yeah. Because I was mainly looking for rust. Well, 60 Series are pretty known for rust in the roof areas and where all the moisture sits, but this one was pretty rust free, just a lot of paint defects and a lot of little ripples just through the whole body which are like to the normal eye hard for people to pick up but with us painters and panel beaters we can see that from a mile away. The, the job that you finally did on it is absolutely amazing and they look like fresh guards, they look like brand yeah. new guards. Yeah. So. That's how we hope they come out. I noticed also that you found a couple of spots of rust that needed to be sorted as well that no one saw. And you don't actually find out until you rub it all back and get under to the bare steel. But we know where they're gonna be because we've done a few before. You'll find the hidden, hidden stuff underneath. You guys are definitely an old school shop, the way in which you do things. Yeah, well, we mainly pride our work on restorations. We do a lot of old, pretty much old cars um, where you can't get a lot of panels for. The old school panel beater I got, and then I've got actually a young panel beater, Cheese, who's only 21, and he's also been doing pretty much restos, and he's learnt the old school way as well, and his, both of their patch making um, skills are unbelievable to watch. So the dent puller, the spot world with a little slide hammer on, comes in really handy um, and makes the job so much easier. Yeah, you've kind of gone a little bit further than what I thought you were going to do originally because originally it was a closed door respray, but every panel had problems. It always starts off as an outside respray and you can get carried away, but my whole thing is if you're going to do it, you get it all done once and that's it, and then it's all done and dusted. And It was a good shell to start with, so it made our job like so much easier. Now you did a few extra things, like the aerial hole, you got rid of that. Yeah. Um, the bonnet, tell me about that. Well, with the uh, 6.2 um, Chevy diesel, they do get a bit hot. Me and Luke from OnTrack decided we'll cut the scoop off a 79 series and then mould it into the 60 series bonnet, which was a, a little bit hard at the start, but the boys got their heads around it and um, all that's literally left of the 60 series is a nice little bit of the outside of the bonnet. Everything else is 79. We got a good sheet metal worker over there that uh, got it fitting really nice and I can't wait to get that on and finally see it on painted and make the car look even tougher than what it's going to be. I did say I wanted to make this a point of difference. Yep. And the whole idea of bringing all these modern accessories to the vehicle is to make it a a little bit different and yep. to, I guess, celebrate the fact you can do that. Yeah. But changing the whole look and design of the 
the bonnet. It doesn't look out of place because obviously the shape of the 60 series is nice, sharp, big, bold lines, and same with the 79 bonnet, it just fits and flows perfect. When I saw the work you were going to, I thought, yep, this is going to look absolutely marvellous, but it actually looks like a brand new car. Yeah. Well, we didn't go all out and cut it back flat like we do most of our cars because obviously we want to leave a little bit of um, meat on the paint job so when the boys do get some bush stripes and stuff like that before it goes to a show, at least then we can run the buff down the side, knock some of the scratches out of it and it'll be ready to go again. I hopefully, cross fingers, they don't do too much damage. The other thing I was impressed with is the way yours and Luke's businesses work so well together. Because he's next door and we can push cars back and forward and everything works smooth. It's so. great to see. It's, it's a bit like the 60 series here. There's people all around the country that are helping get this thing right. There's bits coming from all over the place and everyone's working like a team. It's, yeah. it's absolutely amazing to watch. Yeah. Yeah, I think anyone that has a car bug, who loves building cars, loves um, involvement in cars, will just all work together no matter what. So it's yeah, a good, it's... good culture to be in. Let's make it better than what it ever was. With all the different people that will be driving it, uh, you may as well give it as much protection as we can. It's a must. Can't wait to see the finished product. So join us on this adventure and follow the post of the Sandy 60 as we fix up this old bus and tackle some amazing tracks on an epic adventure across Australia.